Oh, how you doing, Bella? Oh, such a good girl. I know. You want outside in the worst way. You keep begging at the door. I'll definitely will let you out, but I'm going to wait for it to warm up just a little bit. It's still pretty, it's still pretty chilly out there, you guys. When I get back from my workout, I will take her out so that she can enjoy a little bit of the sunshine. But right now it's about 40 degrees and that's not, that's not super warm. You know, 40 degrees Fahrenheit is not, not as high above freezing as I would like. So, okay. So talking about uh, workout that I've got scheduled for today, it's one I've never done before. I'm going to be on my mountain bike outdoors. I'm going to go outdoors to try to get this one done. Um, I called it up on my tablet off a of Garmin because I, I need to refer to it to be able to share with you the structure because it's, it's a little more complicated. Uh, just like with yesterday's workout, it has a, a long and very structured or organized warm up to it. So this is how we're going to start. Five minutes in the custom heart rate zone of two and then another five minutes in zone three and then another five minutes in zone four, which would be threshold. So we're ramping it up, ramping it up over a course of 15 minutes. And you have two minutes to kind of recover from that ramp up and the warm up a little bit. And then from there, I'm gonna to need to hit the lap button on my Garmin uh, to start to work out. And I'm gonna do this sequence that I'm about to talk about two different times. So I'm gonna go for two minutes in zone five. So I'm gonna go really hard for two minutes. I'm going to have 30 seconds to recover, and then I'm going to have 10 minutes in zone four, which would be threshold, and then another two minutes to recover, and then I will repeat that all over again. And then I'm going to um, finish the workout with 35 minutes just at an easy pace. So basically just kind of pedaling, probably on my way home from wherever you decide to do this. My initial thinking is I've got a spot that's kind of out in the country a little ways that there's a stretch out there that isn't quite so heavily traveled. So I might work my way out, out that way uh, to, to try to get this one in. Uh, and I would go out to the rails for trails, uh, but my car is loaded up with stuff that's, that we're supposed to be donating. So I didn't really want to all, unload all of that stuff to load up my mountain bike um, to head out there. And it's too far for me to just ride it out there. Okay, so the other day, um, I got uh, some new Hoka's. These are not running shoes, but they're a recovery shoe. So I'm going to be doing a review of these uh, pretty soon, but I thought I'd just share them with you because I don't know that many people have seen these. Uh, I think there's a, a group of people that have been, you know, really, really chomping at the bit to get their hands on these because they sold out right away. Um, I don't know, you guys have to tell me what you think about the looks anyway. And like, so I'll do a review of these, obviously, uh, in upcoming videos, but this is what they look like. So I'm not a super huge fan of, I guess, the, the lace, laces here. They're, and they're not true laces because you can't cinch these down and tie them. They're more of just a, kind of an infinite, I don't know, loop of laces there. And I think they're more for aesthetics because I can't really see any true benefit, you know, uh, to having them there, other than, like I said, just just to look at. There's something interesting, I suppose. Um, the big criticism that I've seen about these has, has really just come down to fit and sizing, but I didn't have any issues at all. Uh, but to give you a frame of reference now, I, I typically wear a US men's size eight and a half in my dress shoes. So if I was buying a pair of shoes that I wanted to wear to a wedding, for example, that's what I'd be looking for, men's eight and a half. But when I buy my running shoes, you know, I try to get a uh, U.S. men's size nine, and that usually fits me perfectly about 99.99% .99 of the time. And and, that was, and that's because, you know, I have the width of my thumb between my big toe, which is my longest toe, and the end of the shoe. So that's that's the sizing. So I went with a U.S. men's size nine, the same as my running shoes, and these fit me perfect. I haven't had any trouble slipping these on or taking them off, and I've, I've tried them on with socks and without socks, didn't have any issues at all. The only thing I, I noticed right away is just walking around my house in these when I first got them is that the heel is, does feel a little bit loose. And I, I don't think that's too uncommon or unexpected in a pair of slip-on shoes, but I think they've got a really nice recovery shoe for us here. You know, it's part of the Aura lineup. And so, you know, I have the Aura recovery slides 
and you know the the uh, version three. I also have the uh, a Lux version of their recovery sandals as well, and I like those uh, because they do have uh, some Velcro adjustments. And I'll do a review and comparison between the slides and these at some point, I'm sure, and maybe even put these up against uh, some Ufus offerings as well. But I I like the looks. And I haven't put any real extensive time in these or miles at all so far uh, because I just got them. But from what I can tell, I'm really going to like them because you get all the benefit of, you know, the recovery sandal, but you get it in a shoe style. And a day like today, you know, as I was negotiating with Bella um, before I take her outside to let it warm up a little bit, these are perfect for a day like today where you know it's it's cooler out and wearing a pair of sandals where my toes are exposed to the elements isn't nearly as comfortable as as a shoe would be and these are you know the upper on these are are soft they're cushioned and i'm sure they're going to be a lot warmer than than my sandals or my slides would be so i'm looking forward to putting some miles in on these i think they're going to be i think they're going to be a really good fit for me and the kinds of things that i like to do now i'm still dealing with a stress fracture in my hip you know that femoral neck stress fracture that I have. So any anything that can help me reduce the impact uh, on that, even when I'm walking, that's a really good thing for me right now as I, as I work through this injury. So I think that these are gonna be, these are gonna be the ticket, I think, but we'll see. You know, I, I may change my mind after putting a few miles on these, but I am gonna put these on my feet, gonna walk around town a little bit. Uh, I don't know if I'll do that today or tomorrow, uh, but uh, I definitely will be putting some some miles and some time in these shoes before I review them for all of you. I definitely want to bring you guys the best information that I can when I do a review. And so that's what that's the plan going forward. Okay, but for today, I've got to get outside and get this one in. I'm, uh, I'm layered up just a little bit because of the temperature that's outside. I do have on an older pair of um, cycling pants. They're a few years old, but they're holding up really well. You know, I just, I got them off Amazon. They're really inexpensive. They're called For You Cycling. And so they're specifically made for biking, but I've wore these plenty of times in the winter when I've been out running, especially on those sub-zero days when it's been well below freezing. Well, I put on a pair of maybe tights or some thermals or something on, underneath these, slip these on, they do an amazing job keeping me comfortable and warm when I'm out, you know, working out in the really cold weather. But on a day like today, uh, where it's cool, I, I, I won't need that extra layer. I think these will be enough for 40 degree Fahrenheit weather. Um, but, you know, they've done a really good job just being a nice windbreak and providing that extra element of, or extra protection from the elements. All right, so with that, I am going to go get this one done, and I'll take you guys along with me for the ride. It's a beautiful sunny day today, so hopefully I'll be able to capture some good GoPro footage for you as well. All right, let's go get this one done. This workout is underway. Uh, it's definitely going to be a challenging one for sure. You know, not just the amount of time, but the efforts that it's calling for. So it should be pretty challenging. Uh, I'm always up for a new challenge. And I'm excited to be doing things that are a little different than what I've done in the past. And, you know, although it is a bit on the cooler side, as I mentioned, uh, you know, just being out here, once it started moving, you know how it is you warm up pretty quick so i think it's going to be i think it's going to be a good one i think it's going to be a good one i can hear my timer going off telling me i need to pick up the pace not just yet though a few more obstacles to get around oh this is sparty's uh, vet over here actually all of our cats vet oh they do such a great job very caring, very knowledgeable uh, people that work there. All right. Time to pick up the pace. I really enjoy doing something different. I've enjoyed uh, 
you know these new cycling types of workouts that I've never done before it gives me something to look forward to it just makes working out that much more interesting and you know overall I think it's really good to change things up so I'm enjoying it today's workouts a tough one for sure the warm-up is similar to yesterday but the the workout format itself is quite a bit different so that guy go by uh, but because of the nature of it you know having to go hard for you know really really hard for two minutes and then go hard an additional 10 after that that kind of thing you know, that's why I'm headed out towards the country to get this one done oh, I'm glad you guys came along for the ride that makes it that much more interesting as well Two minutes now to recover. Oh, goodness. Before we start to hit it hard, now I have to hit my lap button when I'm ready. Now, over here is a golden retriever that lives there. And when I'm running, he comes out to, to greet me. A really friendly dog. I think if he could, he would go with me on my run oh goodness now my heart rate come down a minute Whew. that's one thing you can't do on a stationary bike in the side is to coast because your feet are always turning over there oh. makes it a little easier to bring my heart rate down when I have an opportunity to coast oh boy got my handsome cat No, very handsome cat. All right, so it says I need to hit my lap button when I'm ready. So I'm gonna give it a second or two to get down here. So I'm, my intent is to turn around and head back the other way uh, before I hit that lap button. Extended two minutes, because I wanted to get up here to turn around so my timing wasn't great on this first set before I started but hopefully it'll be better when I go for round two all right let's turn this jalopy around and get my horse moving in the other direction all right time to hit the lap button here we go Uh, all right so I'm in that recovery two minutes as you can see I ended up coming out onto the gravel uh, to the dirt roads uh, I don't know I think it was okay you know a little bumpy ride here or there but for the most part it's been pretty decent pretty decent going on this workout so far I get to repeat that sequence all over again Oh man, all right, I'll let my heart rate come down, get a drink, and uh, we'll do this one. Well, like I said, we'll do it again, we'll do it again. Hey big fella. All right, so the second one is done. I'm in the recovery mode for two minutes. Oh goodness. Oh, says my heart rate's too high for this two minute recovery. Oh, I'm just going to coast for a minute, let that come down. Oh, and enjoy the ride. Oh my goodness. I feel like I've earned it today. I'm trying to get into that all out mode. I was going all out, but it was saying my heart rate was too low. I, I, I gave it all I had. So hopefully I'll get better over time. But today I just did the best that I could. And that's going to have to be good enough. I'm looking forward to wearing the uh, Hoka Aura Primo recovery shoes. Uh, I mean, that is a mouthful for sure. Uh, but for a few minutes I had them on my feet, they were really comfortable. So 
I'll definitely be wearing these around for sure. Aesthetically, they're not they're not for everybody. And you know, according to some people's comments, you know, sizing or getting your foot into them for some might be an issue, but like I said, I didn't have any problems with that at all. All right, so this workout has come to an end. It looks like it's about an hour and 20 minutes. So I was a little off on my estimation to begin with, but not, not by that much. Uh, no, I didn't, uh, I didn't do the workout perfectly, but you know, I think it was good enough. And I think that's really all that matters. You know, it, it would be great to run a perfect workout, but it uh, doesn't mean I didn't reap the benefits of it. You know, overall, I think I got close to the intent. It was the, uh, it was the part where I needed to get up, you know, full, full out, um, trying to get my heart rate up there past threshold. Um, I struggled with that. I struggled with that piece of it. It still got up there, but just not as high as Garmin was necessarily wanting it to be for as long as they wanted it to be there. So, but I was happy with it. Happy that I got it done. Oh man, good day for it too. All right, guys. Hey, thanks for making it to the end of the video. Hope you enjoyed it. I enjoyed making it for you. As always, run tall, run strong, be kind to one another. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow. Huh. All right. It's such a tight squeeze in between here. I guess they really need to park our cars a little further apart. Huh.